Hey there, my name is Ali. You can find me on Instagram at ali.khaled.94. And this channel is all about teaching you how to become professional in Photoshop. Today, we're going to show you how to blend in several photos together. So you can download the photos we're going to use from the link below in the description so you can follow along with us. Also, at the end of this video, we're going to have a contest related to this edit. So make sure you don't miss it out. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to create a new document. I'm going to go something like 2000 pixels by 2500. Okay, and then we'll start by dragging. Wait, let me close this. We'll start by dragging our first photo, which is the palace. Okay, I'm going to increase the size a bit by holding shift and alt. I want to make it like much larger. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Or maybe a bit more larger and I... The columns are so short, so I'm gonna stretch it out a bit. Just make sure you don't overdo that, okay? Because it will look weird. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and then we're gonna start by cutting out. I don't like the light and shadow here. It's too eye-catchy for our edit, so... I'm gonna cut this out by using the lasso tool. I'm gonna start from here, maybe. Hold shift so it goes in a straight line and then I'll keep cutting it. Yes, and here we're gonna face a problem because of the chandelier we have here. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix that. Okay, I'm gonna cut it like that. Okay, now I'm gonna Press the mask button, add layer mask. So it will do this. We will stand on the mask option and press Ctrl and I. Okay. Now to fix this, this part. Uh, if I cut it like this following this line, we'll have a problem with the chandelier here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, make sure it's a complete hard brush with opacity of 100% and we're on the color black. And I'm going to stand on the mask self and I'm gonna delete like this and another one second third fourth and fifth then I'm gonna do the same at the opposite side like first second third fourth and fifth and maybe the one in the middle will make it a bit larger okay and then I'm gonna erase the rest of the leftovers in the middle now we still have these areas to work with. I'm going to select them again with the lasso tool. Make sure it's on the same line. Yes, then I'm going to go to the brush and paint black on my layer mask so it deletes. And I'm going to pick this one also. You can invest more time in cutting these things, but now I'm just doing it like roughly. Okay, that looks good. Okay. And the final one here. Okay, great. I'll go to the other side. We also have three parts here. Maybe this one. Yeah, one thing I'll do here, I'll hold shift so it adds the small plus icon so I can make multiple selections at the same time. So I'll select them all together first, then delete them. Okay, I'll press shift again, plus, okay, and we're done, I'll go to the brush, we're done with the first photo. Okay, now we're gonna add the second photo, which is behind this one, which is the mountain. We're gonna add the mountain, make sure it's behind this one. Uh, let's adjust its place. Uh, I'll stretch it in a little bit. I'll put it in here, maybe. I want the light to be coming from that point specifically, so 
Yeah, and one thing, I want the mood of this photo to be like somehow reddish. But this mountain is blue. So to what we're gonna do is gonna go to the, the new adjustment layer and go to hue and saturation. Make sure it's linked to the layer below of it. And then change the hue of the mountain until it's the red we want. Maybe decrease the opacity a little bit. Increase the lightness because it's a little bit dark. Okay. We're gonna do the same to this one. It's more orange than red. So we're gonna go to hue and saturation. Make sure it's linked below. Pull the hue a little bit until it's reddish. Okay, great. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the sky. Which is this photo. Okay, we're gonna add it. I'll add it on top of everything. And, now, and then we're gonna fix it. You'll see how. Okay, I'll put it maybe like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control and click on the layer mask I created before. So this will select what I have cut before. Now I'm going to, on this layer, press create a new layer mask. What it's going to do is the opposite of I want. So I'm going to stand on this one. And again, I'm going to press control and I to invert the mask. So we have the clouds. The problem here is that this cloud layer, it covered up the mountain. That was the object we wanted to show. So what we're going to do is going to go to the brush. Make sure we have a soft brush. Maybe like low opacity. And then we use the white. To paint some clouds on the edges here. And then we'll use the black to paint back the mountain. Because black erases. So when we erase from here, the mountain below will appear. Okay, that's good. Maybe use some white, add here a bit on the edges so it seems a bit like it's foggy out there. Okay, great. Now we're gonna add our maybe sun or lens flare. I got this lens flare from the internet. I'm gonna add it here. Uh, I want it to be also red, so I'll go to hue and saturation, link it to the lens flare. Change the hue until it's like maybe the red which I want. This one. Okay, great. Now we're gonna move it here and change the blending options to screen. What screen does is, if you see, it covers all the blacks and leaves the whites. So when we put it on screen, we're only left with the light. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl and T, hold Shift and Alt, and then reduce the size of it a little bit. Maybe I'll rotate it like this. Okay, good. But it's a little bit strong, so I'll reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay, that's great. We're gonna click the first layer, then hold shift and click the last layer, and press Control and G, which will group all our layers together. And now I'm gonna rename them to Envir Environment. Okay, good. Now we're done with our environment. Let's add our model. Okay, this is a model picture I got from DeviantArt. Uh, we need to cut the model, so we're going to use the pen tool. Okay, we'll start by adding anchor points to the places where we want to cut the model. If you make a mistake, make sure you press Ctrl and Z to undo. I'm gonna do this a little bit quick guys because so we don't waste time but you can do it like more precisely if you want better results yeah and by the way guys if you have any like questions or anything or if you want something specific to ask about or maybe if you check my account on instagram and you want me to do a specific tutorial about one of my work Make sure you write it in the comments below and I'll be very responsive. Okay, that's a mistake. I'll press Ctrl and Z. Make sure we don't get out. I don't need that black thing, you know. Okay.
when cutting the hair, make sure you're a little, a little bit more careful because if you cut the hair wrong, it will look very obvious. I'm going a bit too fast, I know, but it's for like the sake of saving time. Okay, once you're done, you press right click and then make selection. Make sure you feather this, the selection a little bit. 0.5 is good, then press create layer mask. Now we have the model cut. We just missed one part between her arms. So I'm gonna do it quickly with the lasso tool. Okay, then I'll paint black on the layer mask. Make sure it's 100% opacity. I'll paint black so it disappears. Okay, now since we have our model, uh, let's put it in the right place. Okay, here is good. Maybe a little bit big. Uh, reduce the size a little bit. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to change the color of her dress. Like our mood in this photo is completely reddish. So I want her to pop out. So I'll use something contrasting to red. Maybe a cyan, a blue, or a green. So I'm gonna select the model. I'll only select her dress now. Because I don't want the effect to change any other color except her dress. Okay, now since we selected her dress, we will go to add adjustment layer, we'll go to hue and saturation, and then look what happens if we change, it will only change the color of the dress. So I'll go with something contrasting to this purple color or red color, something cyan maybe or blue, I'll uh, make it a little bit darker and maybe increase the saturation. You see this thing, the edges here, because we did not clip it to the layer below. So if we clip it, it will completely disappear. Okay. Now, since our model is ready, what I'm going to do, uh, if you see here, if I cover the layer mask, uh, it was like going down on a stairs. So it doesn't look really realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select these two layers and like right click, merge them, merge them together. Then I'll press Ctrl and T. Then I'll press right click, Warp. What Warp does is allow me to change the, like change something in the object without changing the other part. So I'll lift the dress a little bit up from here. Maybe put it a little down like this. Maybe something like that. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, it's, it looks good. Okay, now we wanna add shadow. To make it like more realistic, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go below the layer of our model, create a new layer, make sure the color is black, go to the brush, a soft brush, maybe like a little bit low opacity, and then I'm gonna press click anywhere in the canvas. Then I'll press Ctrl and T, pull it out like that, okay, and then I'm gonna move it below my model. Okay, that's then we'll add another layer, maybe like harsh shadow now, something like that. And then control T, pull it out, put it under this area maybe. Then now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press Alt. What I, when I press Alt and drag something, what happens is it copies it. So now I have another layer of the shadow. I can rotate it and put it where I want, maybe here. And then I'm gonna press Alt again and pull it, rotate it. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna like click on all the shadow layers and right click, merge them. And then I'll go to the eraser tool here. And now I'm gonna erase the shadow from outside, from her back. Yes, that looks good. Maybe it decreased the opacity a little bit because it's 
a little bit too hard. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on top of the model layer, add a new layer, and press Alter Option here and click. This will clip this layer to the layer below. Okay, now I'm gonna bring a color, maybe red or orange, and I'm gonna paint at the dress from below. And now I'm gonna change the blending mode to color. What this does is it colors the object. Why I did this? Because there's reflecting light from the, uh, the floor below and the environment is completely like red orange. So this will make it a little bit realistic, but of course reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do to the, mo to the model, I'm gonna add a layer. Also press Alt and clip it to it. And now I'm gonna bring a little bit light orange and take a brush and maybe a small brush and I'll add some light to her hair from this direction. Something like that. And then I'll change the blending mode to overlay. Now if you look closely, look what this does. It adds light, reddish light to her. Okay, now we can click on all of those together. Control and G. This will group them together. We can call this model. Okay, now we need to like color grade this. We're done with the compositing. Everything is done. We need to color grade it. So I'm gonna start by doing a curves adjustment. I wanna add like a little depth to this photo. So I'm gonna bring my shadows down a little bit. Something like that maybe and pump up my highlights a bit so it's more contrasty and this is something I always like to do is like pull my shadows up a little bit okay you see now the before the after it's like pretty much good difference what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press ctrl and J what this will do it will duplicate the layer that I did. Why I'm gonna do this? Because I'm gonna create a vignette style. Okay, now I'm gonna bring a black brush and I'm gonna paint at the layer mask where the light is. So here is the light and the model because I want the model to be like popping up a little bit. So what this does is actually it's deleting the black here is deleting the curves effect which I just made. Okay, and finally I wanna bring like the light in the middle a little bit more so I'm gonna go to curves adjustment I'm gonna make it all a little bit brighter then I'm gonna stand on the layer mask and press ctrl i now it's completely invisible to bring it back visible what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick white color maybe reduce the opacity a little bit and I'll start paint whenever I paint something it will be brighter now so I'll paint over the model and on the light here Okay, now I'm done with the color grading. I'll group these three, Control and G, double click. We'll call it color grading. Okay, what I like to do at the end of any edit is press Control and Alt and Shift. Hold these three together, then press E. What this does is it merges all the layers I have into a new layer. So now I can edit this layer as a whole together. Okay, so I'll go to filter and camera raw filter. Okay, now I'm gonna maybe increase a little bit the contrast. And this, this area is like so bright now and you see the highlights are clipping. So I reduced the highlights a little bit. Uh, maybe I reduced the clarity. You see what when I pump up the clarity, everything gets like sharper and very clear. But in this photo, it's more of a dreamy look. So I will reduce the clarity a little bit. Yes, that's much better. Then I'll go to the effects module. Maybe add a little bit vignette. What vignette does, it's like it's drawing a circle of black around your photo. But you don't want to go too much with it. Maybe something like very subtle like that. It should not be visible. And I'll add a little bit of dehaze. This will make it much like it will remove the fog a little bit. Okay, if you want to play around, I like the colors like this, but if you want to play around with the colors, you can go to the camera calibration and start trying out with different colors. Seeing what's gonna happen. Look at this effect. Maybe if you want to like more purple and yellow. 
I like it this way. Maybe if we play around with this, it's more yellow and blue. Here it's more reddish. If we go to this one, maybe, no, I don't like the purple. Maybe to the right it's more orange. Maybe I will do a little bit of this one only. I like that. Okay, now that's good. Okay, thank you for for staying with me. Uh, now the contest I was talking about. Uh, if you followed along this video uh, and you liked it, make sure you change something about it. Like don't do it exactly the same. Change anything about it. Maybe the model. Maybe you can like uh, draw something here at a castle or something. Maybe you can like draw a flying dragon or something just change something about it and send it to me on my instagram account